What are usually the early signs of HIV, AIDS in females? Hello friends. Welcome back to Mark Medicals. Did you know that there are signs and symptoms of HIV that show up only in women? Yes, that's true. For you to follow well in this video, I will cover the following sections. 1. How long does it take to show symptoms of HIV in a woman? 2. How do you know if a girl has HIV? 3. What are usually the early signs of HIV, AIDS in females? 4. Is it easier for a man to get HIV compared to a woman? 5. What are the signs of AIDS in women? But before I answer the above questions, listen to this sad story. Ready, okay. Meet Sarah, a 28-year-old woman who, like all of us, had dreams and plans for her future. One day, she started feeling more tired than usual and noticed some strange skin rashes. Little did she know that these were signs of something serious, HIV. At first, Sarah didn't connect these symptoms to HIV. She thought it was just stress or a common illness. She went to the doctor, who also believed it might be something else. Unfortunately, HIV was not on their radar, and the real culprit went unnoticed. Over the next few years, Sarah's health took a toll. She faced recurrent infections, like pneumonia and severe flu-like symptoms. But each time, the doctors attributed it to various causes other than HIV. No one suspected the hidden threat that was quietly affecting her immune system. As time passed, Sarah's body struggled to fight off infections, and her energy dwindled. She experienced unexplained weight loss and chronic diarrhea, classic signs of a progressing HIV infection. However, the puzzle pieces weren't put together, and Sarah continued her journey without the proper diagnosis. Fast forward to 13 years later, and Sarah found herself facing a new and more severe stage of her illness, AIDS. Her immune system, battered by years of HIV invasion, was now weakened to the point where opportunistic infections took control. It was a tough road for Sarah, and looking back, she wished someone had considered HIV earlier. So guys, this scenario underlines the importance of recognizing the signs of HIV, especially in women. If caught early, proper treatment can delay the progression to AIDS. It's a reminder for all of us to be vigilant about our health and for healthcare providers to consider all possibilities, even the ones that may not seem obvious at first glance. Okay, guys. Now let's follow up and answer your questions now. How long does it take to show symptoms of HIV in a woman? HIV is a virus that can lead to AIDS if not treated. When a person gets infected with HIV, it can take a while for symptoms to show up. HIV symptoms in women can appear two to four weeks after infection. Early symptoms include fever, fatigue, muscle aches, night sweats, and sore throat. More severe symptoms may not appear for 10 years or more. Women may also experience menstrual changes, vaginal infections, and swollen lymph nodes. In general, it can take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months for symptoms to appear. However, it's important to know that some people may not show any symptoms for many years. It's really important to get tested for HIV if you think you might have been exposed. Early detection and treatment can help people with HIV live long and healthy lives. Plus, knowing your status can help protect your partners and prevent the spread of the virus. How do you know if a girl has HIV? If someone has HIV, it's not always easy to tell just by looking at them. HIV is a virus that attacks the immune system, and it can affect anyone, regardless of how they look. The only way to know for sure if someone has HIV is by getting tested. There are different types of tests that can be done to check for HIV. Some tests look for the virus itself, while others look for antibodies that the body makes to fight the virus. These tests can be done using a small sample of blood or saliva. It's important to remember that HIV is not spread through everyday contact like hugging or sharing food. It's spread through certain body fluids, like blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. So, it's important to always practice safe behaviors, like using condoms during sex and not sharing needles, to reduce the risk of getting HIV. 
If you're worried about HIV, it's best to talk to a healthcare provider. They can provide information about testing and offer support and guidance. It's important to remember that having HIV is not a reflection of a person's character, and everyone deserves to be treated with kindness and respect. What are usually the early signs of HIV or AIDS in females? Early signs of HIV or AIDS in females can be mild and easily missed. Some women may experience flu-like symptoms, such as fever, fatigue, and muscle aches, about two to four weeks after being infected with HIV. These symptoms may last for a few weeks and then disappear. Other early symptoms can include swollen glands, which may be enlarged for more than three months, and recurrent vaginal infections. Women with HIV may also notice changes in their menstrual cycle, such as lighter or heavier bleeding, skipped periods, or severe PMS. Additionally, lower belly pain, unusual vaginal discharge, pain during sex, and pain in the upper belly can be signs of HIV, AIDS in females. It's important to note that not everyone will experience the same symptoms, and some people may have no symptoms at all, even though they are infected with HIV. If someone is concerned about HIV, AIDS, it's essential to seek medical advice and get tested to know for sure. Is it easier for a man to get HIV compared to a woman? As a doctor, I can tell you that women are more likely to get HIV than men. The most common way that women get HIV is through sex with a male partner who has HIV without using a condom. Women are more likely than men to get HIV during vaginal sex because the female genitals have a larger surface area that can be exposed to HIV-infected semen, and semen can stay in the vin the woman for several days after intercourse. This means women are exposed to the virus longer. A meta-analysis of 10 studies exploring the risk of transmission through vaginal sex was published in 2009. It is estimated the risk of HIV transmission through receptive vaginal sex or receiving the male organ in the woman to be 0.08%. This is equivalent to one transmission per 1,250 exposures. However, the overall probability of female-to-male HIV-1 transmission for a single act of sexual intercourse was 1 in 159, based on all 745 men in the study. Therefore, it is important to use protection during sex to reduce the risk of getting HIV. If you are worried that you may have been exposed to HIV, you should get tested as soon as possible. What are the signs of AIDS in women? As a doctor, I understand that HIV and AIDS are not the same thing. HIV is a virus that attacks the immune system, and AIDS is the most advanced stage of HIV infection. It usually takes 10 to 20 years for HIV to advance to AIDS. Women with HIV can have additional symptoms that happen more often than men. These include lack of energy or fatigue, weight loss, frequent low-grade fevers and night sweats, frequent yeast infections and unusual vaginal discharge. Other signs of HIV or AIDS in women include fever, irregular periods, pain during sex, pain in your upper belly and vaginal yeast infections. Women with HIV also have unique problems and symptoms, including repeated vaginal yeast infections and a higher risk of cervical cancer. Women who have HIV are more likely to experience complications such as severe pelvic inflammatory disease, menstrual cycle problems, and a higher risk of osteoporosis and heart disease. It is important for women with HIV to be screened for cervical cancer annually and treated as needed. It is important to remember that HIV can be spread to other people, whether or not you have symptoms or feel sick. Therefore, it is important to know your HIV status and take steps to prevent the spread of the virus. In conclusion, it's important to remember that HIV symptoms in women may vary, and early detection is crucial. Knowing the signs and understanding that both men and women can be affected is vital for everyone. Regular health checkups and open communication contribute to a safer and healthier community. If you or someone you know shows any concerning symptoms, seek medical advice promptly. Education and awareness empower us to make informed choices, 
fostering a world where everyone can thrive. Let's support each other in promoting health and well-being, breaking down stigma, and ensuring a brighter future for all.